the fun thing with a lot of Dark Souls games is always um, discovering it, you know, and and a lot of those Souls and Bloodborne games, they do feel open in a way where it's like, I don't know where you were. You're trying to be like, you know, beside the cathedral where there's those two big dogs. And people know what you're talking about. Oh, this is one of the earlier spots. Now, this one is just takes that to the maximum. Kind of like how Metal Gear Solid Five took my favorite part about... Metal Gear Solid Five took my favorite bits from Metal Gear Solid 1, which was approaching the base, you know? Um, yes, yeah, sneaking up on bases like this. And then Metal Gear Solid 5 just sort of extrapolated that into this big, giant, open map with tons of uh, people to sneak up on. And, and while you're doing your sneaking, you're multitasking and building different weapons and stuff and gadgets and had a ton of sense of humor. And I think... Like, Metal Gear Solid 5 was just so bloody fun. And this is this is similar to that. I mean, look at this beautiful environment. You actually get to go relax. It's just amazing. Ride a horse. You can attack encampments. I don't like to kill the animals. I haven't done any crafting, though. Apparently, I need this whetstone, which is, like, right close to the beginning and I think I missed it. More sacrifice. Castle Morn Rampart. A Gil Lake. Seaside Ruins. Just trying to give you So, first step. I think it might be here. You're too busy being completely lost to fully relax? I'd say, you know, when Horky brought this up, I can't craft yet. No, I, I think I missed the, the uh, whetstone that you need. Yeah, so you don't have item crafting. So I missed wherever the whetstone was. Orky had brought that up where he said, um, sometimes you get you get the feeling in Elden Ring that you've gone to a place and you're like, are these guys just difficult or am I just not doing a good job against them or am I just not doing enough damage? And then, yeah, yeah, if you could just tell me where the whetstone is, it'd be great. Um, and you feel like, oh shit, totally in the wrong place. And But the nice thing is you can just warp back. So... And you got a horse. But what I was hoping is that there would just be tons of examples of like things you can just come across and explore and it would be interesting enemies and interesting bosses and there's been a lot of fun little mini bosses. Go to the Ella Church near the beginning where the horse rider boss is. Yes. Oh yeah, I haven't beat him. He's he's really tough. I can survive him a little more now. I can hear him. You can hear him walking around. Look, this guy's dressed like Santa Claus. I think this is... Is this the whetstone? Smithing stone. Oh, you just buy a crafting kit. Oh, okay, okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah, he recommended that at the very beginning. So I've been using these scimitars quite a bit. I think that they've, they're doing good. I do feel like this is quick, you know? It's a quick little attack. Yeah, I've been getting demolished, but I don't mind that. I don't mind that you're getting dem Oh, okay, sure. But it's like, well, which one's in my right hand? Uh. All right, they're a little stronger now. Wait, well, you're back. Care to buy something? So he's got the crafting kit. There we go. It's only 300 runes. Oh, the spear? Yeah. Spears, I mean, they can be great for, like, poking people and sometimes dealing with crowds and stuff. But, yeah, they are definitely different. And I've I've never really used spears much in these games. They're only 300. I must have... Could probably sell something. I could, I could look up, like, whatever it is you use. Look at all this stuff. Materials for crafting, 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 crafting. Whatever you use to do, like, online stuff, I'm not going to use any of that. So. Use the golden runes. Yes. The golden runes. That's only... These are only worth 300. It's funny, because now it's... Now it feels like, um... 
more like an RPG than ever because it is in this big world and crafting is more of a is more of a thing as they say that'll give you 300 200 these things are so tiny I like I I turned my back away from this guy so he doesn't uh what is it? He doesn't know what I'm doing. Still going to purchase something. Yeah man, I'm gonna purchase some purchase something is. Yes. And then there's some kind of a whetstone. I'm glad you took my warning to heart. Select item crafting. And they show a picture of a man fighting a lizard. You'll need cracked pots or other containers. Can't make more of those items than you have containers. Okay. Cookbooks. Fire pot. To throw at enemies. Throw behind to inflict fire damage. A roped fire pot. Bone darts. Are they... Which ones are like super dexterousness? you think throwing things would be. On horseback feed to torrent to restore HP. Whoa! Oh, yeah. And it's got to go into a cracked pot. Shines with colored light, serves as a guide, and reveals co-op and hostile summoning signs. Guess we can try to make some of these bone darts. Might be kind of fun. Maybe some fire bombs. Yeah, I bet the spear would be really good. How far am I? Um, well, I've explored up here. I couldn't beat that guy that you fight with, Roger. And I went down here, and I don't think I could beat anybody here, from what I remember, at the Castle Morn. Kind of all blends together. And then I ended up over here when I opened the wrong chest. So... I guess we could go here and, and have a quick little fight against this guy. There we go. Us and Roger. And I and I found this weapon here too called the um the twin blade. It's near that dragon in the lake. All right, Roger. Oh, what I really could use is, like, that fire grease stuff. That'd be handy. This is all crafting. Oh, I want to deliver this letter, too. Margarine was super hard. He had to summon a giant jellyfish and bleed damage him to death. Oh, oh. And that's the jellyfish that that girl gives you, right? The, the breast girl in the half a house? Margit. Wouldn't mind, um... Oh, I got a bunch of bolts and stuff. Wouldn't mind using those fire bombs. Yeah, she talks about the spiders. And what's that all about? Alright, let's go over to the pouch. Put a bomb in there. One fire pot. Okay, we got some bone darts we could put in there. Oh, this one does, does the blood loss. I don't know if four is going to do it. But these might work. Alright, now I gotta remember how to activate those. Shit. I just use that one? You just press down and it goes? Okay. Fire grease, that's what I want. 
All right, Roger, let's do it. It's funny, like, sometimes the combat looks like Bloodborne. The characters really look like Dark Souls. And then walking around sort of feels like Sekiro. Take that! Nice. Uh, it's like you want to get in there nice and close so that he's just... He's whacking this guy and you can hit him. Push him off, push him off. And then when he looks at you, Roger can hit him. Oh, Roger. I always dive that one too early. It's all about like doing that late dodge, you know. Look at them so like the love his way his head tracks you, slowly stalks you. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, that's true, actually. That's a good point. I like... That. I like the way the magic sort of turns into, uh... These nice glowing... Particle-y... Shimmering sort of... It's like... It's like fire. Magic fire. Looks great. Hmm. I just don't think I'm doing enough damage to this guy. Okay. So there's that place. So that's where you use the um, magic octopus or whatever? The jellyfish? So if I want to summon the jellyfish, I go... Wouldn't be a tool, right? That would be weird. Oh, it's an ash. Summons the spirit jellyfish. And then do you have to use that in a summoning area? I have not summoned anybody. I need a specific bell. Oh. Spirit calling bell. Okay. Okay, so I've got the bell. It's not a specific bell. You just equip the jellyfish like an item and use it. Okay, should I should I use it now and then go through? Should I start fighting this guy? Can I have Roger and the jellyfish? These are the great questions that we need answered before we hop in there. I went in here with some fire grease, and man, I was ripping that guy up. And then I accidentally used it again, and I was a little confused. I feel like I should use that fire grease. Okay, so maybe I'll just... I'll, I'll try summoning the jellyfish right now. I'm not ready, though. I don't want to waste the jellyfish. I only got the one. I think I'll, um... Try to get some fire grease and take out these... Take out this guy. Oh, it's infinite? No shit. That's fucking amazing. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Just like your stamina when running when I'm near enemies. Oh, yeah. Give me that jellyfish. Oh, summons the spirit of jellyfish. Oh, maybe I can't do that. Hmm. Jellyfish. That's my chili! 
Yeah, get him. Oh, what a nice delay. I feel like this is one of those Dark Souls bosses, or from software bosses, Mizaki bosses, whatever, where it's like you're scared, you don't want to be up close, but you really do need to be right up close to them. You need to like dive through his his bullshit, otherwise he's just gonna rock you. Yeah, it's like. You don't want to? Ugh. 180 hit. Yeah, see, that's a real RPG. You can beat him with the status elements. That's cool. Ugh. He's got big combos, he's got a lot of range, and he's got a lot of friggin' whirlwind attacks. In that sense, he really feels like a Bloodborne boss. Remember how, like... I mean, Demon's Souls, the bosses were sort of puzzly. Dark Souls, you could really walk around behind them and just poke them in the butt. And... This one really feels like a Bloodborne boss, where they're just... Whew, big 180 attacks. They have an attack for wherever you want to stand. Alright, let's bring in this guy, and when he dies, I'm going to summon the Jellyfish. And then, that should be... That should be game match, right there. And I also, I need to learn to block or dodge. Oh yeah, also I don't have a shield too, and I feel like the Dark Souls games that have the shields, it's, it's sometimes a little tougher to just dodge everything. I mean, Bloodborne, you're expected to dodge everything. So I think they, uh, they make dodging a little stronger, maybe. Oh, yeah. I I tried the new shield counter, and I really liked it. And then there were a couple times I was using it, and it was, um... Oops. A couple times it, like, fucked me up. Because it just put me in a really vulnerable spot. So I was really into it at first... Oh, yes. Sorcerer's gone. Here comes my jellyfish. Spit on him. Yo, my God. I blocked it. Ouch. Whoops. This guy's got... He's got instincts, baby. A jellyfish is my new friend. My new best friend. Ha <laughs> ha I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, this definitely feels like the the easiest one in the franchise. With all like the summons and the ability to use stealth and sneak around enemies and stuff and like fast travel away and like I feel like I lose I definitely lose the least amount of progress, which is nice. boy. Close. Yeah, I definitely feel like I lose the least amount of progress. And, uh... And also, if you're sick of fighting a boss, you can just kind of go to another one. It's been the hardest for you so far. Do you feel like it's just... You know what I do find hard in this game is, um... 
sometimes knowing when to dodge is a big one. Like, I almost want to try using a shield against this guy. Even though I don't have a good shield. But it's like these, there's sort of like these delayed attacks that seem to happen. That are a bit of, bit of pain in the ass. It's like, uh, uh. It's a slow wind up, but knowing when the actual point of contact is going to be can be difficult. Whoops. I put these in the wrong hands. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh. I'm punching with my friggin' shield. Hey! Oh boy! <laughs> Alright, that was confusing. Like, I, I wonder if I could try... I haven't tried the regular parry, I've tried that new shield counter thing. Which has been pretty powerful. And it's a fairly... Generous window to hit it. If I'm dodging doesn't work, the optimal strategy is probably parrying shield counter or jump attacks. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that where, uh. Oh, this guy coming. Yeah, at least there's like a bit more, um, there's a bit more options. Like Sekiro is definitely very specific how you're going to beat people. Also, I think with Sekiro and Bloodborne, it was like less thinking, you know? You just, you could really zone out and just attack, attack, attack and dodge. And then... Parry encounter. Whereas Dark Souls, it's like, hmm, should it be? Should I block? Should I roll? Should I parry? Now there's a shield counter. And if you kind of time your attacks a little bit, huh? See, that's. Saved a lot of my health. That was pretty handy, the blocking. I'm probably going to switch to a single weapon, I think, and block, block a bit more. It's just so useful. Yeah, see how well that worked? I mean, maybe if I had a better shield. Could have been okay. You had to learn pairing just to beat a boss today. Pairing like shield parry or the shield counter. Like this one. Regular parry. No shit. I wonder if that'd work on this guy. We could try it. Ugh. <laughs> See, some sometimes uh, uh, that shield counter can actually get into a lot of trouble because there's there's some. I feel like the point of the shield counter is not not to be a difficult maneuver to pull off because it's a pretty generous window. But against guys like that, like they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They will destroy you. Also, with the shield, you can kind of like walk around and just press block at the last possible second. And you might even just dodge it by walking out of the way. It's another strength.
141. Seems low. I really gotta hit him a few times with this thing to do any kind of a damage. God, I have so much endurance too. That feels pretty big in this game. <gasps> yeah, give him, give him the stabby, stabby. <laughs> Such a crazy wind up. Yeah, blocking is just so much calmer. <sighs> Give him the stab. You almost kind of want to wait for him to, like, go through a lot of his combo. So that he doesn't, uh... Son of a bitch! Where he's sort of, like, doing half of his combo on the jellyfish. And then you annoy him and he does the big final one at the end. Yeah, my character is, uh... She's quite vocal. I wonder why that is. Maybe the men are, are more stoic. So that seemed easier to block. But I feel like I'm doing less damage. That's the trade-off. Don't you see? 112 and 19. Oh, it's so close. I get two of them. I could use one scimitar and a shield. You dick fucker. Uh... Roger. 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 Sorcerer. Fuck. Like, what the fuck? How are you supposed to fucking dodge it? I did see your character is a handsome, a handsome old fella. Uh. Yeah, the character you made, Princey, looks like he's from uh, Devil May Cry 5, but older. Or he looks like he might be the Prime Minister of Belarus. I need to learn to dodge. Can I also summon jellyfish now at the same time? I think it's nice to like maximize them. Have one at a time for as long as possible. So look at that, 250 I'm doing with these dual attacks. It's pretty badass. <laughs> you got me with the delay, you jerk! A repost. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Oh, nice tail hit to nobody. Now that guy's raining stardust on you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that weird chaos guy. That who you're talking about?
Is he talking to the Sorcerer Rajas or me? Oh! Raj. Jellyfish! Ouch. I know, it just feels like he's talking to Roger, because he's he's fighting Roger a lot more. God. Murphy. Come on! Ah. Oh. Oh boy. I mean, I know that I was just panicking, panicking and spam rolling. I just, I don't understand his attacks. I almost need to hop in there and just try to learn his attacks before I do anything else. Hey, we could try to summon them both. <laughs> I could just throw knives at him the whole time. Come and get it! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got his own blades of his own. He really doesn't like that. <laughs> oh, oh! He could just kind of stay far away from him and just keep doing this, and everyone else gets their attacks in. He hates that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think it's doing much damage. In fact, I think it's doing about none. But he didn't like it, so that's a victory. Yeah, drinking's real fast. <gasps> get in there, get in there, get in there, yeah! He's a special blood dagger. Oh, a passive bleed. Oh, and fire bleed inducing. Oh, shit. Yeah, that sounds nice. It's kind of nice having both these guys. <laughs> like I'm playing Destiny. Yeah, see, there where he would have finished me off. He didn't do a bloody thing. Yuck. One, two, three. Roger's gone. Done. Maybe I'll go, I'll go around the world and get a bit better shield and sword, maybe. Or just learn how to block this guy. Or get some fire grease. I'll try a few things. Ding. And it sets him up for that. Yeah, it seems like the guard counter is incredibly good against these low-level guys. Uh, just like Breath of the Wild, you just walk by, tap the button, you grab it. There's no stupid animation. You grab it, you got it. They, they let you know to the bottom right what you just picked up. And if it's something new, they tell you. The Blood Dagger is really handy since you don't put many points in melee. You could. Oh, cool. And how satisfying is that when you see the blood loss happening? Oh, God. So good. But that counter thing, I could get pretty used to that. Hmm.
Oh yeah, that's, there's the lady that gave us the squid. That was handy. Well, the horse is fast and feels pretty good. Man, killing bosses off big bosses with those kind of status effects and stuff. It reminds me of it's like the later Final Fantasy games, like in the 13 series, when you figure out like, oh, what the hell? Oh! Whoa. See, these guys are too fast to be doing the, uh, Um, to be doing that guard counter. Um, not really, but I've been playing on this one, prioritize frame rate. Right, so here's visual quality. Oh, it runs like fucking garbage on visual quality mode. Like, total garbage. It's like 30 or less. It's just too much world. Too many things moving. Yeah, so I've been playing on this one. And it's way better, which I tend to do with uh, all my all my newer games that have that option, like Miles Morales, uh, probably Ratchet and Clank. Any of those games since the PS4 Pro and the the new variations of Xboxes and PS5. Oh, really? What are you playing on? Isn't it just so nice to have these beautiful, like, relaxing areas? Ugh, oh, it's the best. Uh oh. Oh, oh god. Ouch. Hey. Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked by these guys. Huh. You're on a PS4 and not a Pro? I wonder if you even have an option or if it just... It probably is trying its hardest to... Uh, I have a good frame rate and sort of struggling. It's an interesting looking game. I mean, it, it just really feels like they took Dark Souls, the Dark Souls um, setting and characters and maybe like the Bloodborne engine and, the, and then Sekiro's open areas and castles and stuff and then stretched it out as far as it could. This guy's giving me some nice points. It does make me miss some Sekiro and realize how much I really, really love that game. And that I kind of want to play it again and that my biggest wish would be a futuristic Sekiro. Cyberpunk Sekiro. That's what I want. So bad. Whenever there's a lot of enemies on the screen, the frame rate's really bad. Even lost first boss fight, the one before the tutorial. Oh. That's too bad. Yeah, I'm like really surprised that they were... That they took that... Challenge of trying to make it work on the PS4. And the original Xbox. Well, the original Xbox One. Not the original Xbox. That's pretty... That's difficult. And like, why? You know? Hey, guy? Yeah. Well... Uh, I was listening to this sports talk radio show and they were really... They are like, why is this huge lineup at this, at this new Costco? And... They found out later is because there was PS5s. 
So, and that was just like a month ago. So we're, we're like what, over a year into the PS5 and they're still having supply issues with that? And then all the other supply issues we've had, just kind of around the world, chip shortages and stuff, it's not helping. This would be a good guy to use two weapons, or two, two swords. Yes, you're a big boy. Uh oh, nice. <laughs> oh, I can summon the jellyfish here? That's hilarious. You can just fight with the jellyfish your whole life. But I want to take this guy down Sans Jellyfish. There we go. You can't even get on a waiting list for PS5 there? Good God. That sucks, man. I've... I'm trying to think, though, like... What are the main games to get a PS5 for? The new God of War, the new Horizon... The Elden Ring are all also going to be on the PS4. And Ratchet and Clank was a pretty, pretty damn good PS5 game for me. And then Miles Morales. But Miles Morales is also on PS4, I think. And for you, only Demon's Souls. Hmm. You don't have enough golden seeds. Uh, hmm. Dexterity, strength. I guess some strength, sure. All right, I, I believe there's a boss in here from what I remember. Let me go to Funky Town. Bring my magic jellyfish. That jellyfish is actually, like, kind of a game changer. <gasps> huh? What? No jellyfish in this world. Maybe I should switch to a shield. Bloodhound Knight. Ha! <laughs> Good God. Alright, we'll try this area again. I know there's like some wolves over here, monkeys, some fast moving animals. And these guys. Alright, Sea Prince, thanks for popping by. I'm not going to be in this part for very long. It's just it's just kind of a little bloodborne type fighting arena. Oh, there's so many of these guys. Doesn't even kill him. Oh, maybe I should try that, uh... Oops. Yeah, that move. And then you do the old stab to him. 
and then you're a little bit invincible, and then you're dead. All right, I'll take out these wolves, and then we'll jellyfish on the monkeys. What are they, like, people on the other side of this thing fighting? Or inside? Doesn't quite kill him. Wolf. Yeah, these guys are brutal. Fuck. They're really cool design. They sort of look like the uh, the Tinkerer, the, the toy guy in Blade Runner. That he used to work for Terrell Corp. Lives in that abandoned building. Builds all the toys as his friends. Mm hmm. These are my friends. Mm hmm. Gets taken advantage of by Pris. And Rutger Hauer's character. Now, what was Rutger Hauer's character's name? Blade Runner. Not Rutger, not Hauer. Not Deckard, not Pris. Batty! Roy Batty. That name was almost lost to me like tears in the rain. And then, uh, stupid slow-mo. Nice. Two quick... Yup, yup. Oh, and it does, uh... What do you even call is it? You get the really quick single attack, and it does... It hits more than one at a time. That's pretty handy. I haven't decided whether I like it with the... With the shield or not. Yeah. <sighs> circle, circle, circle. Uh shit. These guys have got some range on them. Hide behind the tree. <sighs> you know what the enemies are really good at? And it makes a lot of sense. Is they're very good at... If you just run away in a straight line and, and spam dodge, they'll just, like, hold that weapon and run, 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 run. You, you have to... face your fear and walk right in towards them. And try to deal with them. Get behind them. And be in control. That's what you gotta do. You've gotta face your fears. Control yourself. That's what I'm not doing. But I am liking the speed of these two blades, and I like how they. That was three light hits, did the trick. And I like that they can hit more than one at a time. Oh, oh. Yeah, one, two, three. You can do a lot of attacks with your endurance. Alright, sneak up behind. See if you can get one good stab in. Or just do the double attack. Yeah, it takes three big swings. Hmm. It's almost like just... Well, I guess I could use knives and dull these guys one at a time. Just sort of go to them over. Oh, 
Oh, these guys, these guys are idiots. Look at them jellyfish. If you just straight up run, you seem to be able to get away. Oh, yeah. Whoa, big daddy. Ah, see? I ran straight away, and they just track you. He's got that big axe with the big swing. I'm also way slower because I was crouched. All right, big daddy. Like, <laughs> when is he going to do the bloody attack? Oh my god, it's so long. Oh. Oh, he fell. Could have attacked him then. These guys are disgusting. They worship piles of garbage and fire. What the fuck, man? Oof. That delayed attack? That's a piss off. Like, fuck, fuck you with your fucking delayed fucking attacks. How am I supposed to know when you're actually going to swing that thing? Just lift it up and walk towards me, walk towards me. So these sounds earlier that I thought were on the other side. They kind of are. Who's this guy fighting? They're going to keep each other busy. You may jump, but you cannot jump that high. Ghoul. Excellent. Then you finally get a good uh, look at these guys. So we were facing this yellow, but I guess we are for far enough to the side, close to his rear, so we're able to poke through. Hmm. Okay, at least with that uh, double attack, I was able to do enough butterflies. Oh, there's more. It's enough to stun them, sort of. Not completely. Not completely with that guy. Ah, butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. Ain't got no legs. Mm, haven't been up here yet. It's just a lot of weapons here. Sure is a shame I can't grab any of them. Not for you, they're for giants. Are these guys training? No, they're fighting. Everybody get fucked up. Ooh, an iron cleaver. It's probably a big strength weapon. It is. It is indeed. Strength C, Dex E. Yeah, maybe I'll start another character and go just do like full strength and dodging. I'm not dodging, I'm blocking. That might be fun. 120 and 48. Not that much more than this. Oh, minus 48. Because, because you need a strength of fifteen. Well, I don't like how that menu sticks around. It's really annoying. 
climb. What a thrill with darkness surrounding. Ouch, I helped you, guy. Kill them all. Furl calling finger remedy to reveal summon signs. Players from other worlds. Gold is out. <sighs> right as an adversary. Multiplayer sessions begin once other type is summoned. Okay. Host of the fingers. So I so the furl calling finger remedy I could sell. Hopefully they give you a lot for that stuff. And then I'll feel good selling them. If they don't give me a lot, if they only give me like 300, I'm going to think, are these rare? Am I just being short-sighted? Am I going to want these a lot later and not be able to play with friends because I don't have enough furl-calling fingers? See, I'm liking that. I can do three quick attacks that seem to stun them enough that I can get them in. Steel Wire Torch. What are you? Ooh, we got Rock Grease. That might be good to use against, um... One of those bosses. We got 3,000 runes, too. I haven't been to this castle yet. I really like that we haven't been stuck inside almost this entire time. We haven't been, you know, we're making our way through like a dungeon or or a castle. You know, think of how many castles there were in God, Demon Souls, Dark Souls. One, two, three. Bloodborne, you're in a lot of closed areas. So I'm thankful for that. Hear the beating of wings. Could it be a dragon? She looks dirty. There's a couple guys over there. That was just dumb. That was just dumb. Ah. Where, where are they gonna put me? The Weeping Peninsula. Oh boy, way back here. I would like to go get those, so. I think I'm gonna go try and get them. I thought last time I played this area when I fought the guy in the on that big stack I thought there was some kind of boss at the end of this okay yeah how do I get up there Sometimes this game is really good, like, if you're just trying to get out of an area, even if it doesn't logically make sense that you could jump out of there, they tend to just let you do it. Just in case you found a way to get yourself all fucked up. It's 
It's really amazing how much endurance they give you. Right away. Mm. Maybe my character class started with a bit more than usual. And I was probably trying to give them more than usual. Just to... Just because I know that it affects everything. I mean, if you have more endurance, you can do more attacks, so... That might actually be way better than getting a few extra points of, like... Dexterity or strength to scale the weapon. Or to get a better weapon. Where is it? I like the ladder you can sprint up it while gaining your endurance back. But you're still going faster. There they are. Didn't die from fall damage. Yoink. That guy was just charging right through my attacks. There's nothing gonna stop him. Is like a slightly different evolved version of that guy. What do you think of this? Yes. Chop him down from the sky. That guy should have had a bow. What am I going to do if he's flying right above me and shooting me with uh, arrows? Was that Dark Souls where if the flying creatures were really far away? They would have this like really simple animation. Be like a super stuttery, hardly any frames kind of thing. What are you doing, guy? It is men versus flying ghouls. So you jump, jump and hit him. I always forget about that jump. It's actually pretty effective. Oh, I gotta come all the way back here and get that stuff. Okay, I got my runes back. We're gonna find a place to touch down for some grace. You there. Oh, look at you. You're a man to talk to. But no grace point? Let them all fight. Alright, what's this guy have to say? Ah, uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. So you can see how things have turned out. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as I said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this by way of apology. Sacrificial twig. The letter. Nice. I see. From Arena. Arena. Thank you. I mean, you're dead. But I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. He's got the sword. Treasured sword of Morn. 
All right, treasured sort of Morn man. He looks a lot like one of the guys in that sort of other world that we went to. I will. Her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. You got it. Okay, and then we can go talk to Arena. So. Where's this sword? Well, that was interesting. God, what a cool design. They just look like... Their faces just look like... Seedy little old men. The kind of people you wouldn't want, to, wouldn't want to run into at the laundromat. God fucking damn it. I don't I'm, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of dodging in this game. Son of a bitch. And there's no warp up there, is there? That's it. I'm sw I'm switching to a fucking shield. I'm gonna go be get a better shield. I'm gonna get a better single-handed weapon. Maybe even do a strength build or something. This is goddamn bullshit. Like continually running through this section is now the most it's felt like Dark Souls or Demon Souls. I mean, you just gotta keep pushing and keep pushing. Leave me alone. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Fuck. These guys in there. Fucking whatever that thing is. That's. Green thing. <laughs> no. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is where I feel like I'm in a Dark Souls rut of running to an area. Not you think. Well, if I take my time and deal with these guys, I might be better off. But if I take my time, I might just lose, and then I could have just ran past them three three times in that time. We need to go back down. So off we go. Catching butterflies along the way. We catch the pretty butterflies. We jams them in our pockets, we do. We crush the barrels. Those 4,000 runes I had before, they sure seem a long ways away now. We'll whack them out of the air, that's pretty fun. Look at that big happy guy's teeth. They look like they're transitioning to become plant eaters or something. Their teeth are all flattening out. Hey, flat teeth. So that's the ticket. Ooh, jump attack. So there's a lot of different techniques you can use in this game. What the hell's sticking out of my back? That guy's feather! Now I'm the bird man. Look at that! Nice! <sighs> Lost grace discovered. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Can we level up? No. We don't need that many runes on level up. Could level up quite a bit pretty soon. That's enough. And is that it? No, oh, there's more. To the left. Oh. Hmm. 
feel like uh, that part in what is it, Half Life One, when you're leaving the you're leaving the facility and you're walking along the edge of the Black Mesa. Oh crap! Son of Troy! Whoa! Those are like right from. Wow, which one? That's a three and one. Yeah, that's, that but that weapon's not gonna work, guy. Not that one either. You'll get what you get. Look, I can do that big stupid load up too. I can do that one big wind up and win. Hmm. What's this? It doesn't say much. But he says, I love you. Please help me, I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. I will eat you, a ghost. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. He doesn't want to be marred and disgraced. That's it. Noble blood. Well, how do you keep a ghost in a thing? Oh, oh my god, son of a bitch. Crap, all along. Oh. I don't know how to help that guy. Wonder if he can? I think he could. These guys are horrendous. They look like Bobcat Goldthwait. Behind the castle. Alright. There's still more to check out. Maybe a way to save that guy. A bunch of jellyfish down there. I think maybe there's like a key or something? Maybe this time a time warp. This feels like we're going backwards. That guy is alive. Sleeping, cowering, praying. Don't fall. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Black. God, this looks like the castle from Demon Souls. That guy doesn't say anything. He doesn't talk. It's just text. Is he speaking to me with his mind? Yeah. It's a decent amount. So some kind of a pavilion.
Oh, nice safe landing on that tree. Tarnished golden sunflower. The sunflower is the official flower of Ukraine. Who are, unfortunately, fighting a war against Putin. Who is just a total scumbag. How could how can the world let war happen? Just settle it. Wherever everybody is, that's it. Draw the lines, no more fighting. You got you get what you get, and that's all that you get. And we're done. We're done with war. It's not It's not worth it. It's not worth what it does to people. Killing them and the ones that survive. having a worse life off before it. Just despicable. Despicable thing. We should never have. Okay, it seems like I can go straight and down, but... Like, can I find... Oh, there's this area. This is cool. Smithing stone. This is the uh, don't fall to your death game. No, you failed. Not falling to your death. Ah, we're okay. Fucking rats and shit. Oh, gross. You guys. You guys are jerks. What's this thing? A whip. Oh, cool. It's probably a sweet dexterity weapon with a lot of range. That's cool. I don't want to try it out. Okay, I see that there's the whip. Just really leaves that on the screen until you press triangle. Do you press triangle or not? God, that's good against just your typical run-of-the-mill pieces of shit. That guard counter. So good. Almost too good. I'm gonna go wuppa wuppa. Be nice to also have this at the ready, another scimitar. Oh, we got a heavy load. Okay, well then... Get the tone blade off there. There we go. Back to medium load. Okay. I guess we can go straight and through. Oh yeah, what's this whip going to be like? The whip. Well, 100 plus 15. D and D for strength and dex scaling. It only weighs two instead of three for the scimitar. So it's very light. It probably has a lot of range, too. The whip. Hmm. Shield and a whip. What if I summon a jellyfish? Will these jellyfish make sweet love to it, or what? Well, let's try. What? No jellyfish in my pocket? I guess I was just happy to see them. Oh, that does no damage. Oh! God, that fucking... Slow motion, one, two, three, and a poom. I wish there was um, more of like, if there was kind of an attack that, if they're taking a long time to wind up, you can just pop them and stagger them. Okay, that whip is no damage at all. Back to the scimitars. Oh, got a ways to go. Can we get down this way? Why 
Yes, I think you can. Oof, got a bit of a way to go. To get down there. Oh, I still got this guy. Let me go. But how? Got to put a giant quarter into the slot. And they'll let him go. Use the pavilion. It's the only way. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a weapon. No! No! Oh! Shit! When I see those scarabs, I immediately think of those uh, crystal lizards. So I get really excited because they're pretty rare. And they're similar the way that they're... They're not common. They show up, they glimmer, and they give you special items. But I don't think they really give you as much as you got from the crystal guys. The crystal lizards. Oh, yeah. Bloody rats. Now, where do we lose those lives? Right here, it looks like. 1300? Not bad. Oh, this is the big daddy. With that big fucking... Annoying. Squeeze. Oof. The range on that axe. Makes me remember my Bloodborne days. Run. Are they jellyfish kind? Uh oh. They look kind. Alright, I guess if I could just electrocute this guy. Okay. Kind of getting a bit of a hand. A bit of a better idea of dodging. Really sweet jellyfish. I mean you no harm, jellyfish. No harm at all. Now what the hell's gonna be in this place? Probably a dickhead for a boss. Oh. <laughs> oh no. 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 Oh. And we're back here. It'd be nice if there was a place to save. Castellan Edgar. Oh boy, oh there's a boss in there. Oh, I'm not ready for that. Alright, here it comes. Get this rot grease. Might be nice to put it in the old bag. Alright, Castell and Edgar. In we go. Leonine Miss Bigolton. Oh! Oh, 
Oh, look, he gets staggered pretty easy. Which is good. Or, I mean, he also has like a big ass halberd, so. Ooh, it's like a real kind of bloodborne beast. Are you a Taurus? I'm getting the feeling you're a Taurus. Body language. Your aura. And we're dead. I think I might need to start putting some more stuff into Vigor. Or get a bit better... Get a little bit better armor. That was fun. But we shouldn't have to run all the way down there. To access it. It's pretty far. And you think there'd be like a... Grace around here. Okay, we're back here. It's a nice item to grab. Yes! One, two, three. Throwing daggers. That's good. They're a nice design. Oh yeah, this is that biggie guy. Oh, oh that counts as a stab? I'll take it. I just... I can't dodge in this game. I don't know how to do it. I just don't know how to do it. I need to block. Let's go try to find a great shield. Which we know is somewhere up here. We've got the horse. Fuck you guys. I just want to walk by and go boing, boing, boing. It's in a big old frying pan. Hit him in the head with a whoopee cushion. Okay, so we're... Uh-oh. Yeah, good for you, wolves. Got a couple golden runes. Look at these eagles all looking at something. God, this part really feels like Breath of the Wild where you go, what are the animals looking at? Maybe that means something, you know? Okay, what's this grace? What's this one called? This is called... Murkwater Coast. Okay. So apparently the shield is to the northwest of Murkwater Catacombs. More by Murkwater Coast. So. Murkwater Cave. Where's Murkwater Coast? So maybe we just gotta go... A little higher. Rockwater Cave. Rockwater Coast. Hmm, not really sure. Maybe a bit to the right and up. This is quite something. This is epic. Epic, bro. Epic kill. Double jump right at the end. Saves you. I have to kill some kind of knight when I find. When I find him with that shield. Oh, what's this? Can I go in? Rockwater Catacombs. Excellent. 
Okay, I'm getting closer. So the Murkwater Catacombs are there. And the shield is where? The shield is to the northwest of it. I guess we could go down here and just take a look. Just have a little, just have a little look, why not? Hmm, it's icy. Maybe just check out some ambiance. These two-headed, three-headed devils. Hmm. They feel tough, but not unbeatable. And actually, we might have been doing more damage if we had more of like a, you know, some kind of a rock item. Rock smasher. Like a pick. Hmm. One, two, three. Not bad. Grave glove wart. Part of the game, this part of the game is getting tough. Very, 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 very tough. Okay, well, we know where the Murkwater Catacombs are. So let's try to go get that shield. Because I think I'm done not using a shield. Alright, basically totally behind you. That's where you need to go. Is it dark out now? Can't use the, uh... Can't use the map. Oh, that's fucking so weird. Thanks, eagles. So can't use the map. There we go. So that's Murkwater Catacombs. We need to go... to the right, past the catacombs. Oh, big bear. Gold tinged excrement. Bear shit. Best. Ain't nothing better than bear shit. All right. Jump. What are these guys doing? Just hanging? Poison bloom. Holy shit. All kinds of dickheads in here. Give me some garlic. Record catacombs. Okay, again, I need to go. No. Like this way. Yeah. Somewhere up here. And there should be something called a War Master Shack. What the fuck is this? A Landipus? No. It can still be an octopus. O Land Octo. Octo putts. Octo, you're grounded, mister. You are so dumb, man. You are so dumb. Getting lots of smithing stones. I haven't gotten the whetstone yet. I think is important. We've almost found this shield. Maybe. It's below the death touched catacombs. 
and below the Ash of War Golden Vow. And just a little bit up from the War Master Shack. Huh. Oh, I think it's a little further over that way. If we can get down. God, I wish this was Breath of the Wild. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Let's try to let's try to stick to the high ground here. If we can, maybe we can sort of get up and around this thing. That might help. I can really pour the gas on this thing. Oh, he's a big boy. There we go. Whoa! Storm up on Storm Hill. Shit. Hey, somewhere around here, I think. A bunch of these guys living up here. What are they doing? Oh, so much stuff. Oh, shit. I think this is the encampment. Yeah, this is probably it. There's like an encampment with a knight. Okay, I'll put my headphones on. Yes. All right, I believe this is it. It's interesting though, like, as as I play this game and I sneak up on encampments, I think, oh, I kind of wish I was playing Metal Gear Solid 5. And as I explore the, uh, ooh, got a short sword and gauntlets. As I explore the, uh, those big things, I think, oh man, I kind of wish I was playing Breath of the Wild. I always wish I was playing Breath of the Wild. Ah, oh, ah, oh. fucking Christ. No. When... You should, like, when you're sprinting, you should automatically get out of crouch mode. Alright, get the shield out. Oh, that's his dog? Fucking Christ. Fuck. Jesus! This is difficult with a crappy shield. He's got a big, long sword. Oh, and we're back here. You know, they don't have a lot of those. Um, you think they'd have a bit more of the... of the grace points. Just don't seem to be that many. It didn't work. All right, well, we know the way we're going. And I think that was our guy. Fuck you, wolf. This was, um... This part definitely feels harder. I feel like... The first day I was playing, there was a lot of things I was just kind of exploring. Sort of learning from, you know, tutorializing. And now the real shit's on. 
No, we now it's like, okay, you're gonna eventually have to beat one of these guys. Ooh, a lot of lightning here. These eagles just learning. Oh, Storm Hill. But that's why there's so many cool uh, materials up there from all that lightning. What do you got? What's at your feet there? Beast liver? Does liver just come out? Or maybe that was part of his meal. Ruined fragments, sanctuary stones, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, now where was this guy that I just died at? Oh! What the fuck? Hey, that's all my stuff. Isn't that nice? It's not like I really needed it. These guys are big boys. Oh ho ho ho. Alright. Okay, where's that bloody encampment? Down there? I think so. Right around here. Okay. I think that was the knight. Maybe we should go kill this guy's dog. Ooh, this part feels like Sekiro. Sekiro had some awesome stealth kills. I think. Yeah. Damn. Eating? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? It was like an ad started up. One at a time ain't so bad. I just got a little bit scared by that big knight. As well you should. He's the cock of the walk. The puss of the... Of the tush. The best of the breast. That's right, I killed your friend. What do you guys... Oh, sneak up in the sky. Is this dog gonna let him know? Roar, 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 roar. <laughs> oh, he's got a lot of health. All right. Maybe. Yeah! Super spin attack! Super spin attack! Oh, what about my jellyfish? Yes. Ding dong, ding dong. Uh, look at these guys. They're like, gosh, we help, but we don't want to get in the way. No, you don't want to get in the way, do you? Jellyfish. There you go. Distract them. Don't you hate when these little guys... You're like... They, they can't do much, but then they, they hit you, and then they just do those really long combos, and they're just like... Psh, 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 psh. And you die to one of those fucking losers. This guy, I mean, this guy's got some range. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, my jellyfish is missing. I mean, I guess it doesn't have eyes. Stab me and jellyfish. Now give me that shield as I become the one with the shield. Where? What? Jellyfish, I love you. I want to pet you. Is this it? Exalted flesh. Is this like a uh, drop situation? Or get it in a chest? <gasps> the Beast Crest Heater Shield. That's what I wanted. That's what I've been wanting. Fuck you, tiny shield. Beast crest. Whoa, 100 physical. Only puts me up to a medium load. That's what I want. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, you fuck it up, jellyfish. Fuck these guys. 
All right. That's great. Beast Crest Heater Shield. Where was that? Right here. <sighs> I feel like we can really do some nice things now. The one thing in Dark Souls games, though, is that you kind of have to really choose your weapons. Actually, no, that's not true. I was going to say because you got to upgrade them, but they do a really good job of making the first upgrades really cheap. So you can kind of almost upgrade, like, you can upgrade, easily upgrade a few weapons. And then it's just the more expensive upgrades. Those ones you need to uh, wait on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fifth beast heater shield, you little dick fucker. Try it. When I say dick fucker, I I don't mean that about gay people, the gay men fucking dicks. No, I just like the way the two words sound together. That's all. Oh, that was my best friend. Of course, the wireless controller battery's low. You've gamed with it for two days. It's low. But aren't you enjoying all of its awesome features? Mm, like what? Uh, vibration? You mean like the N64 head? Yeah. You mean like the PlayStation 1 head with the DualShock? Well, yes, yes, of course. Hmm. I mean, you could plug it in. Just like that. What about the PS3 controller? That had vibration. It lasted a long time. And it charged up with friggin' micro USB or mini USB. Micro, I believe. Oh, I'm so pumped I got this shield. Now I might need a better weapon. Or what I should do is upgrade... I should friggin' upgrade the uh, Twin Blade. Because that's a good weapon. Where can I upgrade? I think at the Choich. Let's try to upgrade the Twin Blade. And... Make some magic happen here. Oof, so green and lush. It's like a jungle down here. Hello, good sir. Well, you're back. I'm back indeed. Goodbye. You must pay to use that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have daggers? How about that? Scimitar plus two. Can you do it? You need two, four. Four smithing stones. But I have two, so I can upgrade the twin blade. It would bump it up to six points. Not huge. God, you almost want to keep the scimitar going. I get more of a boost on the scimitar as well, for some reason. Where is that? They're both D. One nineteen plus eighteen plus nineteen. One twelve plus twenty plus twenty one. It's weird. One twelve plus twenty, one nineteen plus eighteen, so that's a higher percentage. Short sword. So many weapons. I got the straight sword too. I might just stick with the scimitar. They say the twin blade's good. Let's upgrade it and see. See how it goes. Leave. So we'll have the scimitar. And the twin blade. We're still at a medium load. We, got, we haven't got anything better than a blue cloth cowl this whole time. Nothing? Nothing? Should I sell some of the clothes to this guy? Will he buy them? I broke your thing. Who does the intimidation... Make you want to give me a deal. 
he will not buy clothes. He will buy shields. Well, I'm never gonna buy this shield. Oh, a hundred! It's like not even worth it. Better just to send it to the, the chest. A steel wire torch. That looks cool. Oh, there we go. We could, yeah, we can sell this stuff. But sometimes you keep these things in there just better for like... Different reasons, you know? Like this one has better protection against lightning and holy. Fire. Not as much physical. It's the one I... And they don't give you enough to really make you want to sell that stuff. But I got the good shield. What is it? There are others of my... If the mood takes you and my people, which is why we cannot settle, and thanks to that, I think this your people, the tarnished, and mine. Your people. Well, I might leave it at that. I got this new... Frig oh, let's go try to fight this guy, actually. We'll try out the two weapons. We got the shield. The better shield. We're still at a medium thing, so we can roll pretty well. We got our magic jellyfish. God, I love the jellyfish. We got Sorcerer Roger. Oh, I've got a bit of, um... Uh, rot juice. There it is. Rot grease. That's in my pouch, is it? I don't quite see. Need to put the rock grease there. Yeah. All right, Roger. Let's go fuck this guy up. Oof. Did you hurt me, though? Yes, yeah, so he can kind of like just hit him one at a time. And he doesn't tend to go after you too much. Oh, yeah. Shields are way better. Well, at least against this guy. But then even at the mobs, because you can do that guard counter. It's pretty handy. Nice. It's time to use some rot grease. Maybe I'll do that when he's in his second phase. Huh. Oh. There we go. This thing. Maybe the rot grease. Yeah. Well, I'm still using the scimitar as well. It's funny. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. She's try using the twin blade. How much damage is that? It's hard to tell. Eighty looks like it's so. God, that's he is such a fucking douche. Margit. I think I was doing more damage to the scimitar, to be frank. But the shield was pretty nice. I should just go out here and test it against these guys. Okay, scimitar, twin blade. Ready, and... But I don't want to sneak up behind this guy, so... Hey, you. Hey, you. Okay, what was that, 67? And... 80. Mm. But, how many attacks can you get off with a scimitar? Probably a lot more. Oh god, hopefully these guys don't come with me. Just Roger comes. Oh! 
Ooh. See, look, I just sort of walked through. See, it's pretty easy to get two scimitar blasts off. Rather than probably tw two twin blade. But I could be wrong about that, actually. Well, it was like three pretty easily. Okay, let's try this thing. The twin blade. Fuck. Oh! One, two, three, huh? Three pretty easy there as well. I don't know. The twin blade might be better. I have so much endurance too for blocking. Ah, I just I love blocking because you can. A lot of times, you don't even take the hit. You can just get ready to block and walk in behind them. This is a good shield. This is a game changer. This shield. Game changer. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> One, two, three, split down the middle. He split me hard. Okay, we'll try the scimitar next time. Quicker, maybe. More endurance. I don't know. I don't know. Scimitar. And you hold triangle and then go like this. Oi, oi. <sighs> Rise. No fire rot for me. Or grease rot. What a gross thing. What was that? 107 on a heavy attack? 79 on a light attack? Well, well 145 on two lights. And it doesn't use much stamina, which is nice. Get him! One, two, one, two, three. All right, let's try the twin blade again. One, two. Ooh, that might actually be quite a lot more. No. Uh, uh oh. Well, it's it's hard to tell. One ninety three. Scimitar hits. Just enough to get him coming after me. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Sometimes you just want to stay down. Let the guy not be able to hit you. Oh! Oof. Time for the jellyfish. Yes, thy veins. Uh oh! That was a nice one he did. Oh! Oof. That's my friend. God damn. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, see? Oof. You see? You see? That was it. Ah. Oh. Little kitty cat joined the party. I'll blame the cat. Distraction on the cat. I think we're going to beat this guy this time. Okay, cat, pick a spot. Scimitar, scimitar, scimitar. I mean, this guy is hitting me probably with magic weapons. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, see, he misses. Two, three. Uh huh. One, two, three. One, two. Heal. Ouch. I 
I would be doing so much more damage if I was dual wielding, obviously. But I got the shield. I'm liking the shield. Oh, this keeps me alive. It really does. Oh, ho, ho, ho. where to go, Raj? That's gonna make him mad. What's he gonna do? Oh, around the world. Ooh, the double split. That's a fun little attack. <laughs> Only took a little bit of health. I do love how fast the scimitar is. And we're dead. These foolish ambitions. Alright. Start throwing these things at him. Get some bleeding going. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Ding. Ding. Alright. Giant flask. He sees me. Hmm. Get him, Raj. I gotta stay closer. So I can take advantage while Raj is distracting him. <laughs> That's a really bad attack he does. I think if we just kinda hit him once, and then once, and then... He doesn't tend to, uh... He doesn't tend to start looking at you. Let's have some of this exalted flesh. And really go to town on this jerk. There we go. Oh, yeah, you know, you're just really trashing somebody. Oh, oh, nice. I got lucky that he backed off there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Oh, Raj, Raj bit it. Is my flesh still working? I don't think so. You missed. That's a big one! Oh, right off the edge! Oh, that bastard. Just blew me right off. Who does he think he is? Huh? Who does he think he is? This motherfucker. What if I should bring the, the jellyfish in earlier? We could try it. Why not? Nothing's stopping us. Maybe I'm not doing enough damage with my simitar. Jellyfish. Ding, ding, ding. Alright, there's three of us. Actually, the nice thing with the jellyfish is that if he could stay alive this whole time, because he's sort of like poisoning this guy. I always feel like we're doing more damage when jellyfish is there. Could be my imagination, though. We're definitely probably staggering him more, if that's what you call it. No, no, don't hit him. And it's just kind of like more people for him to focus on. I really believe the jellyfish is doing something to weaken this guy. Feels like it. Nice. Yeah, it feels like we're getting a lot more of those. Two already. Uh, I'm loving this shit. I might even be able to do one of those guard counters. Oh! Yes, I didn't. I just played dead there. I think I was a bit invulnerable. 
better because he had that big attack. Nice try, dick. Oh! I think this is keeping more of our guys, more of our guys alive. Source letter Raja. Jellyfish is doing great. This is the closest we've been, but Roger's almost dead. But Roger's never been alive this long. So that's pretty good. So I think it's... Oh, there he goes. He's finally down. Way to go, Roger. You did great, my friend. The trees are falling. I can heal. I got one more heal after this. He's coming after my jelly. Nah. Yeah. Ooh. Fuck off. Oh, okay. One more. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got him. 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 All it took was two summons. That's all. It just took three of us against one. The great enemy fell. There's that horrible, ugly trophy thing up at the top. In fear of the night. Oh shit. Oh, more to say. Okay. It's a lot of uh, generic fantasy things he just said. He said, Fear the night. So maybe it's gonna turn night. Well, I love the jellyfish so much. I want to make sweet love to the jellyfish. I want it to surround me. Or I want to be friends with the jellyfish if that's all it wants. Or I want to adopt it. Oh, wait a second. What am I, Woody Allen? Think about what I just said there. It's just a jellyfish. Level up. What do we got? 9,000. Well, at least he's more strength. And vigor and endurance. I mean, endurance is just so bloody useful. Endurance. Endurance gives you the gives you the attacks. That gives you the that lets you do damage. Alter your garments. Cool. Oh, these are like stats and stuff. They're not. It's not cosmetic. Upgrades of garments. That's a really clunky way of doing it. Why don't they just gray it out, you know? Like flasks. If you can't add charge to a flask because you don't have the seeds, just gray it out. He said beware of the knights. I wonder if we need to go to the knight. Well, this will be the next thing we go to. The shield is the way I'm going to be going for probably quite some time now. The shield is awesome. And maybe I'll keep upgrading my scimitar just because it's so quick. Or I'll use the twin blade. I don't know. I'd like to get some slightly better armor. But that was um, that was a lot of fun. It's kind of frustrating earlier, but a good kind of frustrating. It was fun to uh, explore this world. I almost called it the Dark Souls world. It, let's be honest. It's Dark Souls. This is the Elden Ring world, though. Somebody asked a question about, uh, did you know, did you feel like the George R.R. R. Martin storyline influence, and I totally fucking forgot he was involved. Because it was first announced so long ago. And, uh, I just, yeah, I really had um, no idea. Like, because the story doesn't really seem any different than just like your regular your regular old Dark Souls, right? Anyway, that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to doing some review discussions with everybody in our Discord that's been playing this. And I'm gone for now. Bye-bye.